An eight year old murder investigation ended in a plea deal today. Investigators from the TBI Oak Ridge Police, they worked the case and the victim's family continued to push for justice. Samantha Headley pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter for killing her then husband, T.S. Thrasher. Now we featured this case from 2014 in our ongoing series, Appalachian Unsolved. 10 News reporter Ryan Connors joins us from the newsroom with some closure that came in court today. Ryan. Yeah, that's right, Robin. The plea deal means Henley's going to be serving an eight year sentence and is eligible for parole consideration after about two years. Now, it's important to note on that note that Henley has been in custody for about a year, so she's going to be eligible for parole within the next year or so. Today, both attorneys in the Samantha Henley case say that they are pleased with the plea deal that now has her set to serve eight years in prison. Few words came from Henley, but we did hear from Thrasher's family. T.S. would have been 38 years old just a couple of weeks ago on July 5th. Our entire family misses him, as Grace, his Down syndrome sister, would say, like crazy. Both his mother and father spoke to the judge today, echoing that their son's death was a senseless murder. His mother saying that T.S. warned her about Henley. T.S. looked me straight in the eyes and said, Mom, if anything ever happens to me, Sam did it. She's smart, Mom. Don't let her get away with it. T.S.'s murder happened in the couple's Oak Ridge home back in 2014. For eight long years, local law enforcement and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations have been investigating the killing. Well, Samantha and Hindley, you thought you'd gotten away with murder, but you didn't. We rejoiced the day you were arrested, and we are rejoicing today. The couple had two children. Samantha, I know you don't believe in God, but I do. And may God have mercy on your soul. Now, we spoke with both the defense and prosecution, and they say that they're both happy with the plea deal today. Guys. Brian, thank you.